Welcome back to Probe the Act on Deep Stuff Radio. Thanks for joining us. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. Enjoy the show. What are your influences? Neil Young, Bob Dylan, um, Beatles, bands like that. Or acts like that, you know, over the years. People who can write great inspiring songs, mean some poets, stuff that I like. Yeah, they're good, they're, they're good bands, yeah. What is one thing that you hold most dear? My kids. Yeah. When you're on stage, what do you fear the most? Um, the I'm breaking down. <laughs> it can happen. <laughs> uh, what are your greatest fears for the future? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Greatest fear for the future. I'll be broken, not having any money. <laughs> <laughs> Name two of your songs you like at the moment. Um, I like a song called Rock and Roll Days. I like the song of the universe. Um, I like a lot of my songs. I, th- I like a song I wrote from my granddad called Where the Show Never Ends. It's about when he went to France and he, uh, he was in the army and he met somebody else, even though he was married. So some, of, some songs are real stories about real things. Right. What's one message you have for your fans today? Download the music. <laughs> Do you have any web pages, uh, Jake? Sorry. Well, my own website is being reconstructed at the moment, so that will be up in about a week. Not JakeTaylorSongs dot com. Um, I'm on Reverb Nation. I have a, a page on there. SoundCloud and Number One Music, so I can be found quite. Quite a bit of places on the, on the desk. Can you tell us your SoundCloud page again, just so, you know, our listeners at home can take note? Well, it's just soundcloud.com. Stroke Jake Taylor. Good. Songs. Good. What is the most memorable thing a fan has done for you? Turn up. <laughs> <laughs> What, turn up to your house or to a gig? To a gig, of course. All right. <laughs> I can turn up to the house as well, do you want? <laughs> well, you'd be hoping it's a female fan, though. <laughs> uh, so, describe your show, visually and musically. I get on stage and I sing some songs. That's, that's, that's basically it. I don't do a song and dance routine, no. Um, yeah, I, don't, I think most rock and roll artists, um, you just go up and you, you play your music, you do it the best you can, and try to project that music by speaking to the audience, interacting with the audience. Yeah. And that's a good thing. How do you view the music industry today? Well, the music industry has changed a lot over the years. I don't know if that's for the good or for, for the bad. But I guess time will tell. Sure. What what advice would you give? Would you like to give to other other artists or bands out there? Keep going, never stop, and believe in yourself. That's the most important thing. What are the biggest obstacles for a band? Success is always the biggest. <laughs> and keeping the band together. <laughs> Now, describe your music in one sentence. Indie, rock, blues. Right. That's a loose description. What's your pre-warm-up exercise before you get on stage? Have a pint. <laughs> That's not really exercise, is it? No, it's exercise, my arm. <laughs> You're exercising your arm, are you? <laughs> Right. I, go, I gargle water and things like that, um, you know, for, for my throat, because you have to protect your voice. That's true, That's yeah. The most delicate thing. Yeah. Mm. Do you have anything else to add? Not really, just to thank anyone else, anyone for listening to me. That's brilliant. Better to do that. Yeah. 
Right. So you've been listening to Probe the Art on Deep Stuff Radio. And uh, we thank you for coming to the studio today, um, Jake Taylor. And um, I hope I hope your fans are listening and they would be following all your, your activities and your latest gigs. Uh, thanks for coming to the studio today. I've been Emmy Hickens. And you've been listening to Probe the Art on Deep Stuff Radio. Have a lovely week now.